Hello students, welcome to your channel. Please like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. School Studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website, Patel section. After years of hard work and dedication, we are delighted to officially announce the launch. Our goal with this website is to provide our students with an easier way to learn the lesson and prepare for exam. Today we will see a video related to JCB Solution Class 9 Social Science Chapter 8 Framing of Constitution and its Features. In that the first question is, answer the following question in briefly. Which ideals are stated in the preamble of Indian Constitution? The following ideas are stated in the preamble. Sovereign, Socialist, Secure, secure, sorry, secular, secular, democratic, republic, justice, liberty, fraternity, and equality. These are the ideal ideas which are presented in the preamble of our Indian Constitution. Second, what is adult suffrage? Any citizen who is above eighteen years of age and above processes right to vote in the election of parliament, legislative assemblies or local self-government bodies without any discrimination and economic standard is adult suffrage. Indian constitution is federal. Discuss. The Indian constitution has some federal characteristics. The dual system of government that is union government and the state governments. The constitution has clearly marked areas of functioning for both the kinds of government and marked the clear division of power that is union list, state list and concurrent list. The key point of federal constitution includes the compulsion of written document as the constitution, rigid procedure of adamant distribution of powers between state and center and supermercy of judiciary. Thus, all the characteristics that have included in Indian Constitution, hence India Con Indian Constitution is federal. Next, state the characteristics of parliamentary government. India has a parliamentary system of government. In this system, the parliament is supreme authority representing people. The highest legislature of country which is at the union level is called the parliament. The parliament is because Bicameral, which means it has two houses, that is upper house and the lower house. The upper house is called the Rajya Sabha and the lower house is known as the Lok Sabha. As per the constitution, the governance is carried out in the name of president at the union and governor in the states. However, in real, in really the actual administration at the union level is carried out by the councils of minister headed by the prime minister. And the state level is carried out by the councils of ministers and the chief minister of the state. The councils of ministers are responsible and answerable to the legislature formed for representatives of the people. The Rajya Sabha consists of 250 members out of which 12 are nominated by the president from the field of art, science, literature, etc. The Rajya Sabha is a permanent house and it cannot be completely dissolved. Members of Rajya Sabha are selected for the term of six years, out of which one third members retire every two years. Lok Sabha consists more members than the Rajya Sabha and is more powerful, superior, and decisive. Next, what is unified judicial system? A judicial system in which all the courts of country follow one common court laws and procedures is called unified judicial system. India has a unified judicial system. The Supreme Court of India is the highest court of a judicial system and hence it is also called the apex court. The Supreme Court regulates the high courts at different states and also at other lower courts. The Indian judiciary is independent of the legislative and legis sorry, executive and legislature and is also the defender or, and the guidance of the constitution. Next, explain the provisions of constitutional adamments. Constitutional provision can be adamted three ways. Adamments can be made by a simple majority of members present and voting in the parliament. 
certain amendments requires a special majority that is um, two third majority of members present and voting Consin considering the union state relation the special majority that is j and the consequence not less than 50% of the state legislature is required next question is political equality is incomplete without social and economic equality why so political equality means that everyone is treated in the same way in the political sphere this means that every citizen is considered equal under the law every citizen gets the right to vote con contest elections and demand justice unless all the citizens are treated equally irrespective of their caste religion economic status education and gender they cannot be considered as treated economic socially equal moreover every citizen should get equal opportunity to work and share the resources of the nation this refers to economic equality thus we can say that political equality can be can only be attended on, only when a person is given social and economic equality too so this was question 1 of gsp solution for class 9 chapter 8 of social science i hope you like my video thanks for watching my video thank you please leave comment question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us you will find my email id at the end of this video you can also join us on facebook page follow us on instagram connect us on linkedin or tweet us on twitter thanks for watching my video thank you Thank you.